Hi, my name is Philip Bird, and I'm a member here at Project Liberty Ship at Dexium, and I'm also a graduate student in the University of Maryland College Park. I'm raising funds to help strip and paint the hull of the John W. Brown in our upcoming yard period this fall, and I'm going to introduce you to a few of the crew members who will let you know uh, why the Brown is so special. Well, it's a Liberty Ship from World War II, one of two left that can still sail, and I'll let I'll let them explain why it's so special, and I hope you donate. And Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Richard Bowman. I'm the captain of the John W. Brown. Uh, and I'm here to talk about the importance of painting the hull on the ship. We're going into the dry dock uh, this year for a five year uh, paint job, basically. And the hull above the waterline has to be cleaned up and painted to preserve it. And the hull below the waterline has to be cleaned up and painted in order to prevent fouling the marine growth from growing on it. Uh, the whole process of course is has to do with preserving the steel. The ship is a 72 year old steel structure that's kept in salt water so corrosion is a problem. Um, that's the basic reason for painting a ship is so that it'll stick around for another 72 years. Hey, this doorway here comes from the chapel. And when visitors come on a, what we call a blue line self-guided tour, they would enter this number one tween deck area from there, and they go out into the big port there, and they don't see this display right here. They miss it. And I said, this is important to me to make sure that all our black visitors see this display. Basically, it's called Checkerboard Cruise. It is about the ships that were named after black people. Um, they didn't have all that many ships named after black people, but I should point out in the Merchant Marine, the Merchant Marine was the first branch of the military to integrate. They didn't care what color you were as long as you did your job, and they did. Now, there's some people that they don't know. For example, Robert, L. Bank, or Robert J. Banks, who is he? Well, nobody ever heard of him. William Cox, there's another guy, nobody ever heard of him. We go on down here, here's George A. Lawson. No, nobody ever heard of him. We go on down here, here's a guy, James Walker. Nobody ever heard of him. Well, those individuals, the last ones I pointed out, were sailors in the Merchant Marine sailing on Liberty ships. You know, for me, looking from the outside in, I said it's impressive to me that somebody thought enough about those individuals to sponsor their name to get a ship named after them. I said, they must have been some very special people, and they were. Hi, my name is John Lovelace. I'm a with Zach here with the John Lovelace Brown. I'm currently serving in the capacity of the Chief Business Officer. I'm not sailing at the work in the stack department. As you see behind me today, we're putting new cover on the bottom. Across the Atlantic, and if the ship paid for itself, but we have so much in need of capital funds for. We're, this year, we're going to the shipyard and we're replacing a strake of steel, which is a, a whole layer of steel on the, on the keel, forward all the way aft. We're replacing a couple of tanks. We're having a lot of rivet work done. Where the most modern piece of equipment we have on the ship is the microwave. If you were to come, come look at the ship, everything is it's Marlin Spike seamanship. over a wooden plank to keep the weather on the deck. And that's, that's where we are with the ship. I mean, that's what the ship is. It's one of those things that just gets in your blood. I came on here as, as a paid paramedic for a trip. They needed last minute help on it. I've been, that was 12 years ago. I've been here ever since. It's, it's something different. It's, we're, the, we're the best thing you know. 